The LA30BL is a great story because it was a product that I didn't even know existed. It was a product that, that um, by all accounts, my dad had worked on in, in around about 1968. Oh, LA30BL, now that was a little bit of a, an oddball one at the time. I said, well, what, what, what do you mean? What 30 watt that we made? We never made a 30 watt. I've heard of the LA60BL and we made some combos, but we never made a 30 watt head like that. It never got into production. People didn't really want 30 watt amplifiers in those days. Um, they wanted 100 watts and more. And At that point in time, most people wanted to play pretty loud. So actually, unbelievably, a, a, a full class, you know, a powerful 30 watt amplifier wasn't loud enough, which today is just unheard of. We suddenly revisited and thought, hmm, maybe that's a good amplifier for, for, this, for this, this time. And we get to talking about it and we say, well, well, what would that be like? That product sounds really interesting. And it became a bit of a passion project to, to build this, this product again. So we set to work. Using basically the same circuit as, as an LA100. Um, took the front end of the LA100BL and uh, took the HT levels down. Um, but with a 30 watt output section. I made this lovely little 31 amplifier which sounded so sweet and had all the LA100BL undertones in it. It's got all of those little nuances and works extremely well. And we listened to it and we, and we really liked it. What, what's interesting about the product is that it is very much in keeping with what the market wants today because it's a very good platform for, for pedals. It's a very good open, warm sound that, that, that really suits that kind of kind of setup. Cabinet that goes with it, we, we talked a lot about it actually because we've made quite a lot of 2x12 cabs, but we like the idea of, of an offset pair of speakers um, rather than a 212 either on its side or as a pair like this, offset because it makes a nice cabinet dimension and a good cabinet volume, so decent baffle area, decent cabinet volume, so there's a good sound. Uh, we tried a lot of speakers, um, but settled on the Celestian G12M 25 Greenback, which is a really nice sounding speaker for that product. Slightly smaller magnet than the G12H that's in the, the, the 4x12, uh, and that, that, that just really sets the whole thing off perfectly. To have a 30 watt now and be able to drive a pair of EL34s hard at 30 watts is the modern way. You can have all that 1968 sound there and be able to hear for two days afterwards. 